skip the lecture. I'll show you three ways to speak English faster and more fluently. And while learning, we'll be entertained watching B. Dylan Hollis bake a cold oven cake. Dylan seems to speak in strings of syllables. And one way he does this is that when a word ends in a consonant and the next begins with a vowel, he links that consonant with the vowel. Baker. Fast English. Fluent English. Let's watch Dylan show us more examples of this consonant to vowel linking. Come back to the kitchen. I ask of you, what is the first instruction that? So there's two examples. What is and first instruction. Try it with me. What is? What is? What is? First instruction. First instruction. What is? First instruction. What is the first instruction? That we find when we're baking. If you said preheat your oven. Your oven. Your oven. Your oven. Your oven. Preheat your oven. I am in complete agreement with. Complete agreement. Complete agreement. Complete agreement. Complete agreement. I am in complete agreement with you. With you, I find that as well. That as. That as. That as. That as well. But today we're baking a recipe. Baking a. Baking a. Baking a. Today we're baking a. From 1976 titled A Cold Oven Cake. Two examples. Titled a cold oven. Titled a. Titled a. Cold oven. Cold oven. Cold oven. Titled a cold oven cake. And the idea of putting an unbaked good into an oven. There's two more examples. Pudding and and good into. Pudding and. Pudding and. Good into. Good into. Good into. The idea of putting an unbaked good into an oven, a cold oven. Within that short video clip, what did you notice about consonant to vowel linking? Dylan did use a lot of examples. This is a very frequent way to connect words together to speak more fluently. It's also pretty easy to notice. And if you were practicing, you probably found it was pretty easy to do. I definitely recommend starting this way by linking consonants with vowels. The next way that Dylan connects his words so it sounds like strings of syllables. When one word ends in a consonant and the next begins with a consonant, he links those together. For example, I'll leave some more. Take care with these. Let's watch Dylan for more examples of consonant to consonant linking. Or at least I was at a preheated oven to the correct temperature. Correct temperature. We're connecting the same sounds. Correct temperature, correct temperature, preheating an oven to the correct temperature. It's of utmost importance for your baked good to turn out correct. Good to, 
We've got the voiced D connecting with the voiceless partner. T. Good to, good to, good to. An unbaked good to turn out correctly. Correctly. With that being said, there is. With that, we've got the two TH sounds. This one's voiceless or whispered, connecting with the voiced V. With that with that holding the voiceless to can link it right up to the voiced with that with that with that being said something mildly exciting is something the voiced z connecting with its voiceless partner s is something is something is something that being said, is something about breaking the rules, titillating even. So <laughs> let's dive in. So the recipe in question specifically comes from October of 1976 from this little ditty right here. The Women's Circle Home Cooking Period. Women's Circle. So that voiced z is connecting with its voiceless partner. S women's Sorry, women's circle, women's circle, women's circle, women's circle, home cooking, women's circle. You might be wondering, sorry, do all consonants link with adjacent consonants? The answer is it's complex. However, to make it easier for you, I would start off by linking the same sounds. So for example, correct temperature, holding that t to connect it with the next t where you might release it. Correct temperature. It almost sounds like it's one sound. Correct temperature. And whenever you have what I call a voiced, voiceless partner, they're the same sound, except one of them is voiced, for example, and the other one is like a whispered sound. Women's circle is something with that. I would link those kinds of consonants. Make it easier for yourself. For the next examples, this time we're going to watch Dylan link a word that ends in a vowel, and the next word begins with a vowel. So vowel to vowel linking. And we're gonna do it as a quiz. I'll point out examples of this type of linking, and you decide, is it a subtle y or a subtle w sound that connects, that connects those two vowels? So for examples, with the word, let me think, um, he is. Would it be a y or a wa? He is. If you guessed a subtle y, he is. It's like we just mouth it. He is an entertaining baker. He is an entertaining baker. Let's hear Dylan do more vowel to vowel linking. Description every month to all manners of people. So the first example is to all. What's your guess? Is it a subtle y or w that links to all? If you guessed, it's a subtle w. So it kind of moves up to the to wall, to wall. All, to all manners of people, to all, to all. Like we're just mouthing that w, very subtle. To all, to all manners of people. There's nothing too much special about this, but I say no. And it's because the next vowel to vowel linking example no and. What's your guess? Does it connect with a subtle y, no yand, or a subtle w, no and? It is another subtle w. No and, no and, no and, no and. 
go ahead and try that. No and, no and. I say no and, no and. As these showcase what's actually going on in everyday kitchens of ordinary people like you and I. You and. Do you think that's connected with a subtle y or wa? You and. It is another subtle wa. So that u is very close to a wa and it moves up to that you and. You and. You and I. Go ahead and try that. You and, you and I. Every recipe in here is sent in by an average member. By and. What's connecting that one? A subtle y or wa? By and. This is our first example of a subtle y. By and, by and, by and. Average reader, by an average reader. Of the public, strangely with their full names and addresses included. Now, professional, commercial, or restaurant cookbooks are fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I collect quite a few, but they don't provide an accurate depiction as to what food culture is at the time, you know? They showcase what people are striving to eat. To eat. Do you think that's connected by a subtle y or wa? To eat. You might have remembered this example from before. It does move up to a subtle wa. To eat. To eat. To eat. To eat. What people are striving to eat. To eat. Whereas these and church or community cookbooks show us what people are actually eating. Now we're here to bake a cake, so let's talk cake. On page 47 of the cookbook, you'll find our recipe. And just looking at the ingredients, you'll see we have some peculiarities. In that last example is actually eating. And in case you are listening very carefully, you might realize these are the same sounds. This is the green E, actually, and so is this one, eating, actually eating. Do you think those are connected by a subtle Y or W sound? Actually eating. It is a Y and it's very subtle. Actually eating, actually eating, actually eating, actually eating. It helps us put it all together. No breaks and no pauses. A break would be like, uh-oh. Actually eating, actually eating. It shows us what people are actually eating. You now have a couple options. You could keep watching Dylan. Maybe you wanna know how that cold oven cake turns out or you find it a great way to pick out more of these consonant to consonant or consonant to vowel or vowel to vowel linking that you can listen for and practice. I'll put the description or the link to that video in the description. 